right y'all so today is friday uh it's like 4 45 in the afternoon i just got off work uh we're working down in uh guard eye georgia it's about an hour from the house uh so cut wood down there this week brought my trailer with me to work because uh now that i'm off i'm headed to look at yet another truck well, i don't really think we need any more but uh this one i i kind of i need to go get it because uh i need some parts off of it and um this truck uh, i remember this truck Corey townsend my buddy up and around savannah area used to own this truck it's a little s10 it's an 89 model just like mine um uh, Corey and i think greg fowler bagged it and kevin helped a little bit i think and uh i don't know who else maybe chris um but Corey used to drive his truck all over the place man he used to used to just uh whip it all shows and uh pretty cool looking little truck um used to have some 20 center lines on it and uh cory sold it to a guy from waycross uh that's where i'm heading now waycross georgia uh to a guy named drake um drake drove around a little while and he told me that he uh he wanted to make the front leg the, the truck still had fender wells and all in it so he pulled the fender wells out and uh was like well i got the front off might as, might as well go ahead and body drop it while i got the part so yeah, everybody out there knows how that goes, that snowball effect. It just kind of goes on and on. Just the same thing happened to me with the paint truck. I had a deer, pulled the fenders off the fixed front end, and I might as well bag it while I got the part. And while it's part, I might as well body drop it and uh, turn into six years of my life trying to put that truck back together. Um, so I understand where he's coming from. Uh, Drake said he just needs to move it. He's it's in his way. He needs the shop space back, and uh, I understand that. I've been there. So... Uh, we're headed over here now to look at it. Uh, well, I ain't got to look at it. I know I'm going to buy it. Um, I've already seen enough pictures, and I remember the truck. So, um, We're headed over here, or I'm headed over here. Um, KK and Mackenzie's going to meet me over here for supper, and uh, I'm headed over to pick it up. This truck uh, has got all the stuff that I need. I've, I've got most of the stuff that I needed to back my S10. Um, this truck has the stuff that I was missing. It's got tubular front, upper and lower control arms. Uh, I was originally just gonna de-hump the lowers and put cups in there and it's already got drop spindles and I was just gonna do that. Um, but if I can get some tubular upper control arms out of the deal, I'm, I'm gonna run them. The rear has a bolt on six link, really nice setup. Rides good, lays out on a big wheel if you wanted to. Um, I remember Corey and him telling me that this truck rode great. So Turn right. my navigation talking to me. Um, so I, I'm just going to, I'm going to park the truck out. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm going to take the parts I don't need, sell them, recoup some money, use the parts I need, um, go from there. But y'all check this thing out. We're fixing to pull up here and look at it in just a second. You YouTube channel right here? Yeah. If you want to be on YouTube, you'll be yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Drake, tell us, tell us why you took this truck apart. Because uh, I ain't got no sense. That's why. The damn replaced the ball joints but it it turned into a damn body drop and i never finished it so and uh not only did i get the truck and the bed and all the parts they gave me some extra parts and some <laughs> man said so they done had about 20 and s10s and that's all the leftover parts they've ever had from them so we got s10 parts we might even go to the attic and uh get some more <laughs> i think we had a room i'm waiting on kk to get here with the escalade so we can pile some of this stuff in there because i still got a transmission in there i gotta get i probably got three bed tools more in the attic oh s10 y'all better keep them but this thing's got the uh six link on the back you know what brand this is i don't i think it's the fbi mini but i'm not sure I, i'll uh we're getting off the trailer when we get to the house we'll go over it film a little bit more appreciate you oh yeah no problem yeah <laughs> oh, it's not hold on do it
big is that motor? 370 inches. I figured you were going to say a 4.8. Oh, that, that is a 4.8. <laughs> Alright, hey, that do sound good. I got a pretty good carburetor on the sound lot. Yes, sir. Hey, this truck finish wouldn't be bad at all. Either. No, it's a really cool truck. Um, so can you see this? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So um, here's the deal. We got this truck last night. I'm building an 89 STM myself, first gen. Y'all saw Brandon's truck. Yours is a what year, Mom? 2001. 2001. Uh, he's been riding on Chandler's old wheels. Chandler's behind the camera. I'm pointing at him, but you can't see him. <laughs> um, the 17s, uh, when we redone Brandon's truck, if you if you've been around for a while, you saw that video a couple months back. Um, we put the 17s on. He's been driving it. I mean, happy. Yeah. But he's been looking for new wheels because he wanted to go a little bit fresher. So, uh, Brian bought these wheels. I bought the truck to get the parts. And uh, there's a lot of good parts here. Um, it looks like a strip-bound truck, but uh, we got the whole bay over there is full of parts for S10. Uh, we got to go through all that. Uh, if there's something for an interior of an S10 that you need, I might have it. Y'all hit me up. Um, but we fixed to snatch these wheels off. I've got a set of uh, 24 inch bond speed billet wheels back there um, that we're gonna put on it so I can still roll it around. But before we take the wheels off, we're gonna see this thing laid out. You know um, you're rich if your roll around wheels is billets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. When you say, if you're rich, just say that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just say that. That's why I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But this truck, uh, Drake. He partially stock floored it uh, and moved the cab back to center the front wheel. Uh, it centers the wheel and the fender wheel and it closes up the gap to the bed. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's a three quarters of an inch and then he traditional the rest of it. It looked like it was about two, two and a half inches of traditional. Um, so he cut the pinch off. I want to see this thing laid out. So we're going to lay it out before we pull the wheels off and show you guys. Walk around the same. I am so so ready to do my truck now. <laughs> like y'all don't understand. Come on. All right, so uh, check this thing out. It's got a raised gas tank cross member. It's got a bolt-on six link. There's four four link rear cantilever bars. Uh, lays out hard on twenties and gets a ton of lift. Me and Chandler just figured that out when we was jacking it up. Um, this this thing is freaking hammered, man. I don't know if I really want to junk it out. <laughs> um, I guess the door opens, so it's not low enough. You know, if you door it, then. But, all right, so it's got Kirky Racing seats. I got a CTM project out there with a big block in it that I've been building that I need some seats for, so that worked out. It's got a tilt steering column that I need because mine does not have a tilt column, and when you traditional it, I uh, won't have any leg room. Uh, built steering wheel, fiberglass uh, dash for an S10. If you need a fiberglass dash for an S10 for your drag race project, hit me up because that one's for sale. I uh, also got a 20 gallon fuel cell right there with it. Uh, I was going to sell that, but realized Brandon needed a fuel cell too. So I need that guy. Brandon got the fuel cell. It's got a manual brake booster or manual brake setup, uh, like drag race style. Uh, that's brand new. It's never had fluid in it. If you need that, I'll probably sell that to you. Uh, I'm gonna keep the upper and lower control arms off of it. It's also got a set of drop spindles. Uh, those will probably be for sale. Um, this is like one of the 
best things about the truck to me is the grill. Uh, I actually didn't know that this grill would fit an 89. I thought this was like a 91 up thing, but come find out it'll fit. So that's going in my truck. Uh, also, you saw it, it's got a four inch steel cow hood. Um, center's already been cut out for engine clearance. That's definitely going on my truck. My hood that's on my truck is already primered, so why not <laughs> have a different primer? Gun? Every piece of billet trim that you could get for the inside of one of these is on this truck. Yep. Man, there's a pile of money in this truck right here. Man, that, man. Hey, hey Corey, put... I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, got, I got to use the parts off of it, but I'm sorry. Oh, come here. What this look? See all that stuff? That is all S10 parts. Every bit of it. Everything over here. We got uh, wiper cows. Front and back bumpers. Door panels. Dash, billet air conditioner stuff. Oh man, my truck's over there. Um, I've got, he's got a, a box with all the billet stuff for the inside. Um, I mean, even the air conditioner setup was billet. Two buyer 480s, uh, I'm gonna sell those to Jeff for Hunter's old truck. Um, I got a dual electric fan set up there for the S10 when I body drop it so I can run electric fan instead of a clutch fan because when you move the body down and the motor stays in the same place, they don't line up. So it's been always easier for me to just run electric fans. There it is. No oh. bottom in that box. <laughs> uh, how did we get the box? That's there? what I'm saying. We just I, pulled I out the back know. of the truck. I don't even know how the box made it there. So there's uh, the fuse block, fuel lines, center caps for something. Hey, is all your wheels got center caps? Is that the center cap fork? No, no that, one's got, that one's got a cylinder yeah. style. That one don't even have a name on it. Dang, there's a whole one. There's another one. I wonder what those are for. I don't know. We'll figure it out. There's a U-bolt. I'm sure I'll use that on some customer's truck eventually. The cap for the black spray paint. There's billet covers for the windshield wipers. Uh, I'm going to definitely keep those. I've got a set of red door panels. I don't have a red interior. Uh, that truck didn't have a red interior. So if you need some red, red door panels, I've got a set. Uh, I got the OG steering wheel, the horn button was right there. A nitrous line for It was gonna have a, uh, I think it's gonna have a pretty hot There's motor. so many parts. <laughs> oh, and they gave me the inner fenders. Um, they probably won't end up on my S10, but I'll probably use them on somebody's stuff. And? Oh, and the greatest find of all oh, time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I showed them that last night. They can see it twice, because it's worth it. I tell you what I really like, one of my favorite things about this truck was the was the Chevrolet on the tailgate. Yeah, I'm probably gonna put that on the wall. Yeah, that's... I always did hey, like look, that. Hey, look, here's, here's what I really love. Check this out. The whole bell floor's gone, right? Everything. Check this out. <laughs> My tailgate don't even show that good. Perfect. And there's nothing supporting either side. No. And, I mean, this bed literally weighs like... Well, pounds. well, that, that bar right there is supporting it. So that's probably what's yeah, holding that's it. that's it. I mean... That's going to end up being somebody's link bar one day. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh... Hey, but uh, we're going to go ahead and throw these 24s on. Put Brandon's truck up, get these 20s on it. Uh, make sure everything clears. I hope they do. And uh, we, both, we both got some new toys. Yep. So this is about to have a fine set of wheels on it. Oh, yeah. That big. That thing is that damn big. How big are they? That damn big. This is like trying to put them 26s on that box Chevy the other day, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that don't. It's like. Um, How people put 24s on square body S10? Because that don't fit. Black guy. White girl. Say that again. You can't say that. Black guy. White girl. <laughs> Definitely have to cut that one out. Brandon don't know yet. We're supposed to put 17 on here because uh, those don't fit. Who's 17s? Your 17s. <laughs> well, I mean, you gave them to him. I, yeah, I'm just so joking. technically, I reckon they are his. What, what, what Ben Diesel say? Well, it's, it's nobody's car. Yep. I haven't taken delivery yet. <laughs> Man, that's a good looking wheel, though. If oh, all four of them was that style right there. Yes. I don't like that one. I like this one better. That's not both. All right, so oh, hold on. While we while we were doing this, uh, this is a brand new Bond Speed wheel. Uh, this is a 24 by nine. 
that's also a 24 by 9 offer. They have the same offset. Um, just do it with your hand. Yeah, because this gimbal, it's been, it's been, it's seen better days. Yeah. Blue reel right there. All right, so uh, these are Bond Speeds. Uh, very nice billet wheels. Uh, these have never been rode on, ever. Um, I bought these from my buddy George Heller. Uh, he done a split design on his truck. He had a red Extreme S10, some of y'all remember. Uh, it was split down the middle. Everything on the right side was black. The truck was red, but it had like tinted lights and um, something with the paint anyway it was split design so he bought split wheels for his truck uh he bought a polished wheel for the driver's side which had clear lights and then he bought the black and gray wheels for the passenger side which was the dark side um and then he ended up never even riding on them and ended up going to a 26 on his s10 how i don't know because i couldn't even bolt it on this truck they're massive um so i bought these just because I thought I might use them one day, and uh, I've never used them. So if you want them, I'll sell them to you. Um, he paid about $5,000 for these wheels. Um, this and we tire, was just going to ride around on these things. Yeah, these uh, these two tires have like 95% tread. Those two tires have never even been rode on. Um, I mean, they still got stickers on both of those. Yeah. Uh, you bring me 1500 bucks, you can get these guys. But they are spec to tuck on a 94 up S10 without an air in the rear end. Is what he ordered them for. So I've seen them on his truck. I know they fit. They just don't fit this fender wheel. So I really want to see it laid out with these up above the fender. <laughs> but oh well, let's put some 17s on. Yeah, Are you like filming, filming? Yeah. Um, so, if y'all remember, the wheels that were on this truck, the ones we just took off, uh, come off Chandler's truck, so they're Ranger Low Pattern. So, we had adapters on it. So, we got to transfer all this over to the other one. So, we can both. Man, you know, I used to have a set of 14 inch original steel wheels for my square body. And uh, when I got rid of my 53.5 window, those were the wheels that was on it. And I was like, ah, Sean, let me get those back. And uh, I don't know where they ended up, but um, I'd, I'd like to have them back because uh, they would look cool when they're on that truck. Yeah. Where were they? Or Corey's yeah. old centerline smoothies. Yeah. The 14 inch steel wheels that come on my S10. I don't know if you remember what they look like. Hey, this one's a different lug pattern. <laughs> hey, I seen him a message last night, Snapchat, and uh, it was a video, and I was like, "Man, these wheels is all curved up, and the tires is about wore out." <laughs> man, I got you, and he was like, "They better not be." He was big man. I, I told him today that I ordered a set last night just like them for my truck, and didn't realize that they were the same as this. Hey. He looked like he was butt hurt. There. <laughs> <laughs> man, these wheels. All right, so Drake bought these wheels, and. Jack the truck up where it was sitting and put these wheels on it and then put it on blocks. They've never, they never even been rolled on until last night when we went onto the trailer. So, I mean, that's about as brand new as you're gonna get. All right, sir. You need fun stuff. All right, so, uh, we got to bolt it on. We got to do a little cutting on the uh, bed. Hang on, we're in 0.5 mode. There's 0.1. All right, let's see how low the front goes. Yes, sir. These are back down until it hits. All right, that's hitting right there. Man, wouldn't even let you lay your own truck out, would he? Just like Dawson. <laughs> nice sleigh. We love you, Dawson. Yeah, we got to cut some fender wheels there. Uh, it's hitting back there. But I got to go to a birthday party, so I'm going to leave y'all with it. 
It is.